The way I am now, I hate the way I look. I hate it. I think she has a lovely body, but then she's not happy with it. And on that basis, if it's okay with her and it's safe to do so, I'm willing to help her along. It's just this. I look in the mirror and I feel sad. I... She doesn't have much fat. She does, she's not a, an overweight lady. What she has is fat in the area she's not happy with. First area we're going to do is your tummy. Mm -hmm. All right, and this is what we're going to try to get. I've been looking into doing it for about two years. I've been thinking about it, looking up all the pros and cons, trying to work out if it is right for me, and I'm 100% certain that it's the right thing for me to do. Are you sure? Yes. It's a big step. I know, I know. I'm terrified, don't get me wrong. What I'm going to try to do is even out the areas of her... Uh, um, physical status in such a way that her body is in harmony. The upper part is in harmony with the lower part uh, so that there are no uh, bulges or um, areas of concern. Lisa's entrusted her body to Dr Ashley Granot, who runs the Ashley Centre in suburban Melbourne. These days he's a very popular man. Liposculpture for both sexes is a fast-growing industry. There's nothing new. It's been throughout the ages. It's just that nowadays there are things that one can do that nature, unfortunately, gave. What sort of people do you see here? People from all walks of life. Young uh, women with uh, parents, and I have elderly women as well. Men uh, are becoming more and more common uh, patients. It'll be worth it. Definitely? Definitely. First, there's a psychological assessment. She passes. Then lots of discussion about what she wants and what she's already tried. Sorry, sorry, then a complete physical with blood tests. In about 10 to 20 percent of uh, patients, I try to discourage them because I can see there's obviously not a, uh, a um, significant indication for uh, any procedure whatsoever. You know, they are told straight away that this is not a cure for all complaints. This is specifically a physical change, uh, but it does not change their marriage or their uh, social life. You can still pull out, you know, it's not too late. <laughs> I don't want to. I just want to go to sleep. All fired up. All fired up. Today, six days after, the swelling is subsiding. Here I am, the new Lisa, a bit bruised and battered, but on the way. How are you feeling? Sore, quite sore still, very swollen, but you can definitely see a difference now. That's just foam, surgical foam. That'll oh, okay. come off in a couple of days. Yeah. And you've lost here? Yeah, I've quite lost, a lot. I've lost quite a lot off off there. The main thing I'm happy with is the line that I've got now, which I just didn't have before. Have you achieved perfection, Lisa? <laughs> Not in this state. No. Um, I'll be very happy when it's all finished and done. But that's the thing. Are you happy? Yes. Yes, that was pretty definite. Martin King with that story. We'll have more about that uh, and about Lisa on our website. We'll catch up again with Lisa in a few weeks' time.